we go All the rails Don't you know it's time to raise our sails It's freedom like you never knew Don't need bags or a pass Say the word, I'll be there in a flash You could say my hat is off to you As you can see the tiles more of a serious so it's not like oh my god serious you know I mean it's about Legos you know how serious can you get but this is more of kind of me just talking from being a fan of Legos so there's no gonna be like yeah it is so pictures of videos there's nothing gonna be on the chair here it's just gonna be me talking to you about my concerns on Lego and I've been a long time fan I believe ever since I was about three or four years old I work on my Saturday morning I was in here which is the gaming room Back then we call him the Wii Room because, you know, I was a big Wii fan. And there was a box of Legos and I asked my mom what they were. And she told me, like, oh, it's Legos. And she kind of explained it. And I kind of, I think I was into Mega Blocks and kind of, um, Playbook. No, <laughs> no, no, play no, uh, Play Mobile. Play Mobile. <laughs> play Mobile. Oh, uh, gosh. Play Mobile. I swear I was a good kid, but yeah, I was into <laughs> Mega Blocks and Play Mobile, so I kind of had an idea. And she's like, "Oh, this is <laughs> what your cousins were into with the Legos and stuff." So ever since then, I've been a big fan. I mean, I've been to Legoland several times. Love it there when I went, and I mean, back still fun. I collected all the Lego video games you now: Lego Dimensions. Uh, Lego Batman 1, 2, 3, Lego Indiana Jones, Lego Stars, Lego Harry Potter, Lego Battles on the DS. I love that game. I still think it's really good. But I'm concerned where Lego's going in the future. I mean, I still, you know, do collect Lego minifigures. You know, the minifigure series. You have some from the Lego Batman uh, line and stuff. So, I, you know, I have a whole thing here of Lego Dimensions. I still have these figures. You know, and some of this stuff. And as you saw a couple of months ago, I mean, I still do stop motion, but all this stuff, like, and I do mocks, I do my own creations where I build stuff, and uh, I post them on my uh, Instagram, and, uh, uh, so I show people, not that often, but I've kind of done it, but all this stuff is stuff that I print on, except the many figures, and that's because I don't really like what Lego's doing now as a brand. A lot of that has to do with the marketing and prices, and I just don't agree with it. And a lot of it's, like I said, the pricing. A good audience of Lego is kids. Now, I know there's adults. We're going to get to that later. I have a really good point about that. But about kids, when I was growing up, and I was really into Legos about grade school. I'm in high school. I'm in a junior year. So um, when I was like seven, I whatever grade school age it is, um, um, when I was... Doing that, the sets were priced perfectly. They were priced so well. And back then, really the only money I got was really, you know, from like birthday, holidays, my uh, family and my kind of mostly grandparents' aunts have given me money, you know, Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day. So, you know, I stuff like that, you know, usually how most kids get it, holidays and birthdays and stuff and... Stuff like that, you know, and that's kind of how I got Legos through the money I got and stuff. And I remember the prices being great, just doing very well. And I just remember going to the store and, you know, like, wow, that's really cool. And I remember having, like, the VIP card, like, the, with the red minifigure and, you know, getting redeem, redeem points. I don't know if they still are. I don't think they don't. Um, In case they do... You know, great. But I just remember shopping for Legos being such a fun experience. And, oh, look at this. And I really want this. Oh, cool. And I remember, like, the $100 sets were kind of like the big deal. You know, like, oh, my gosh. $100 was, like, the big deal. And I remember, like, I got this, like, one Lego castle, like, Trolls Morton Mountain Fortress set from my grandparents on my birthday. And I love it. I built it. I still have pieces of it displayed in my room. I love that set. Very good. And I remember, mean, like, okay, and I mean, so and stuff like that. And I also remember, like, collecting the keychains and magnets and then 
kind of angry that like the keychain, like we more like clipping the keychains from their head. So they were, like many things and stuff like that. But now I look at the store, the prices are insane. And I'm thinking because now, you know, I'm at like junior high school, you know, I get, you know, money, it's easier to get money as you get older, obviously. And stuff. I look at it from a little kid's point of view, or a kid's point of view. I'm like, that's that's expensive. So that's why we're twenty dollars now, or it seemed like thirty dollars then. I kind of compare and contrast. I'm like, huh? You know? I just find that interesting because, like I said, kids, the money they get is like, or it could be like, but also like doing well in school. So let's say if this kid really went to this Star Wars set, or I guess say they got like an A on the test. Great job, Billy. Let's go to, or Sally, you know, or they go to the Lego store. Let's get this Star Wars set. They own $20 and, you know, it's 30 but it could have been price, price at 20 And all of these sets that could be for kids are really high priced. And now kids, you know, good, uh, majority of them have uh, eye devices, electronics. So, you know, they might spend that money to get like iTunes gift cards to play with their games popular Whatever, I know some of them to video games was like the money they have for Legos. It's it's kind of concerning, you know. Looking at this stuff, I'm like, really, Lego? Like, you know, when I was a kid, I mean, the price was fine. I'm like, okay, I can deal with that, but now it's like, really? And that's when I stopped buying sets and kind of stopping into them. And now you might be saying, Tim, man, calm down, Lego is also for adults, but here's my I know that. I watch YouTube videos of like, I love adults, and I, I think that's such a cool idea, a, uh, a falls adults fan of Legos, and I think that's great, how Legos through all these ages, but the thing is, Lego does not market themselves as an all ages brand. You might be saying, what do you mean? Well, yeah, on the box it says, like, blank through, you know, whatever, blank plus. And yeah, the movies, Lego Batman movie, no Lego movie, all those movies, and they'll fall ages, but really a lot of Lego stuff, as you look at it, you know, towards little kids, it is. And I think Legos, the thing itself, is priceless. But just the way they market it, has an age get cap. And I think that's really frustrating, because I think adults fan of Legos, I haven't talked to any of them, but I think... That they kind of feel like, hey, you know, one to them too, and they don't really get represented well. So, in my opinion, I think they should start having like a magazine that's for adults fans of Legos. I think this is something that Lego should really do. This is one of my ideas. Because the Lego catalog, I still like it. You know, I don't buy the sets. It's very like, there's no age. But in the Lego Club stuff, it's very geared towards kids. And I mean kids. I start getting, stop getting like the Lego Club at like, I think I did, like, fifth grade. Yeah, I was young. I'm kind of young on the whole thing of Legos and stuff. And kind of just looking at it, I'm like, wow, really? You know, and it's very geared towards kids. And I wish they had one for adults. You know, why they can enjoy it. And kind of tells them, club, because the Lego club is very much about, oh, buy these sets with your favorite superheroes and stuff and it's very about the current popular movies which is fine i like that we'll get to kind of license stuff later but i wish they kind of said hey you know for adults you know tips for like building it or collecting or stuff like that you know some of those i think that'll do great because that's what they're into you know and stuff like that and can kind of see that in mo and i can Kind of see up for the Lego, create the Lego ideas where they have you submit your own designs and you vote. I like the idea. A lot of the sets there have more kind of an adult themed. They had Back to the Future, you know, uh, adults like that film. Uh, a lot of stuff like Shipping the Bottle, old fishing stores very much there. So I, they're getting there soon. I know they just came off a of Lego Disney Castle. Which, uh, because I went to the Lego store and I was talking to employees and I was saying like, oh, that's one of the highest selling sets. So there's some stuff there, but I just wish they, like, get an idea towards adults. Because I think that's what a good market is. And stuff. And I feel like now, I kind of miss back in the day. It was just like, okay, it was always the license and the non-license. You have, like, Star Wars and all the superhero stuff. And then you have, like, the Lego stuff. Like, Ninjago, Bionicle, Castle Pirates. But it's not, like, 
Then John and I go, and like, next one, I was like, oh, this stuff has a TV show. Oh my gosh, it's like, can we just have Legos as Legos? Not like, oh, this has a show, this has mind blank, blank. I'm like, oh my goodness. Okay, I get it, yeah, you, if it does well, but like, I just, guys, it's like, I love Legos. I do. But it's just frustrating because I want them to do well. And, you know, it's just like, I want them to stay relevant with all this, like, iPad, you know, crappy games looking at every game is bad. You know what I mean, okay? It's like, I want kids to actually be playing with Legos and not, Angry Bro, you flip a bird, like, bah, 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 you know? <laughs> I don't know what that was at all, but, um, you know, so, <laughs> I, yeah, I just want them to be into Legos, and it's hard to do off the prices, and that's why this is coming from a Legos fan's heart. Give us the old stuff. I was looking at those Lego books, and I love the old stuff, like the old space sets, the old castle sets, the old pirate sets, when it was just the sets, and it was like a TV show tie-in, and stuff, and the, like, now, even kind of sets, like, they came off a new pirate line, just kind of the design seems weaker, because I love the pirate set in, like, 2008, 2010, they had some really unique sets. That was very cool. They had like stuff like, oh, like a uh, secret hideaway on an island. Uh, that was very cool. And then all these really nice ideas. And, um, you know, I'm like, that's really neat. And now I look at this and I'm like, oh. And I'm not saying that sets are poorly designed. But look at, I mean, look at the like new Death Star. They retired the old Lego Death Star. And the new Death Star they have is exactly the same. But they updated the minifigures. That's it. So Lego is pretty much repackaging the Death Star and selling it again. I think at a higher price. So they're pretty much selling us the same thing for a higher price. It's just guys disappointing. Uh, I can't. And I think at the theme parks, I don't want to go too much into that because I haven't been to all the Lego theme parks. And I used to watch, like, I don't know. I think I like Lego and it still seems fun from what I can tell. I think that's cool. I, I still, that, well, that's what I love about the Lego theme parks. And I think that's still part of Lego because it's, the lands are like, oh, we have, like, Castle Land, Pirate Land, Pirate Land, City Land. I think that's very cool. And I still like how they have at the theme parks. And so, but like I said, I'm not like anti-leg. I'm not like saying they suck. I just want them to do well. Um, and it would be interesting to see where they go. And I think Lego, and I think a good, a very good example of them is Lego Dimensions. Lego Dimensions was, I think, a big deal. And look, it got canceled. Because it didn't do one. I think that's just say something to popularity. Property is very similar. Like Disney Infinito, Disney Infinity. Okay, I'll see But like. Okay, Skylanders. From what I know, Amiibo. Let's go with Amiibo. Amiibo and Sky uh, Skylanders is still going strong. And Lady Dimensions are pretty much the same thing. 3D platformers. You would think Lady Dimensions does well. Is that have things like Scooby Doo, The Simpsons, Ghostbusters. Uh, Batman, you know, so Jurassic World, stuff that appears to older audiences, but it didn't do well. Like, Skylanders just have all these, like, no-name people, and they're still doing very well. Um, and stuff. So it's just very interesting to see, kind of, Lego not do well. I want them to do, but I think if they adjust prices, I think if they adjust prices, yeah, okay, you're not making that 10 extra dollars, but I think it'll really skyrocket so, so... Lower prices, create like an adult magazine for Legos, you know, tips for that, and encourage more creative building. I think we need that. Um, I think that would be a new idea for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy this kind of little rant thing here. I'm not going to be doing this that often, but this is entertainment from the Gaming Odyssey. See you guys next time. Bye.